actually. I uh, I appreciate you giving us a call. Thanks for being on the uh, the big program with us today. This this is this is quite a first for me. I've never interviewed anybody from prison. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, good to be here. Good to be here. Uh, before I forget, I want to, <clears throat> before I forget, I want to make sure I mention that uh, the music July of Apocalypse is, is available on all streaming sites, including Spotify. And also, we got some new music coming out probably in early '23. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So, how to, go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, all right, my name is Freddie Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Vaughn Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Banks. <laughs> I'm uh, a musician from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm currently in New Jersey. I'm on a good old, at Fort Dix, a military base. I'm in on a case where he basically set me up <laughs> for me in here, but I got 10 more months left. Should be getting out soon. But July, we started in uh, 91 out of Pittsburgh, and we put out a, a little cassette and uh, basically, uh, I sent it to a guy at uh, Rosebud uh, Metropole named Carl Mullen. He called us back in a couple of days and said, hey, do you want to open for the Lemonheads? We said, whoa, yeah, sure. <laughs> so uh, that was our first gig. And uh, ever since then, it, you know, it's been going pretty well. We recorded Love Apocalypse. And then, uh, like I said, we toured with the Typo Negative, uh, Peter Steele, God rest his soul. And uh, just been fun times, you know, making the music and such. That's awesome. That's awesome. We have got a great guest to this today. Love Apocalypse is the latest. It's uh, it, it is pretty much a, a you know your your post punk, dark rock, goth rock kind of stuff. The band July is led by Freddie Hamilton, aka Frederick Burns, aka Frederick Vaughn Hamilton, and uh, he joins us today here on our big program. So. This is pretty interesting. Tell us a little bit about the, the writing process and putting this song together and, and some of the different things you guys are doing. Well, we got, it's kind of weird in a way because we have a couple of different sets of musicians, but Al Augustine is a guitar player. He, he co-wrote The Tide and uh, Dear July and River Run on the album. Then we have Josh Turkle, who uh, is from Alaska. He, went, he goes by Zero. He went to uh, Berkeley in Boston. He moved to Pittsburgh. I met him and a guy named Tom S. He's from Michigan. We all uh, put together uh, the, the other records, including uh, Swim Alone. And basically the writing process is the guys come in, they gave the music, and I did some of the drum, uh, drum, you know, I'm a drummer as well, and some of the drum programming. I wrote all the lyrics, so basically they gave me the music, and then um, I write the lyric line and the lyrics to it. Then we put it, but then we demo it. We were using a little uh, Tascam 4-track, and then we uh, went into a studio, recorded in uh, Steubenville, Ohio, at Orange Park, Park Studios, the album Love Apocalypse. So that's basically the process. I hear the music, put the words to it, and sing to it. Then we record it. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's Love Apocalypse. He joins us today here in a broadcast. Freddie Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Van Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Banks joins us here on our big program so what's been the reaction that you've gotten from this uh from people online and people that have heard this song it's going really really well we decided to re-release the album and uh you know spotify is pretty taken off uh for some reason the numbers stopped counting or something but the first week we got nineteen thousand. It's got a couple thousand on YouTube, and then a couple other places picked it up. You can get some airplay in the UK, Israel, Zimbabwe, of all places, all over the Zimbabwe, country. Zimbabwe, that's and awesome. And playing with uh, some really good bands like Terramore and U2 and Weezer and stuff like that. So we get a really good reaction on stage. The live show is just incredible. I get the, basically a chance to get my frustration on the stage and roll around and scream and drop to the ground and stuff like that. <laughs> That's fantastic. It is a great guest. He joins us today here on our broadcast. This is the first time that I have ever interviewed anybody from a federal prison. And this is this is just amazing today. Love Apocalypse. It's post-punk, dark rock, shoegaze, goth rock. 
And uh, the band July, led by Freddie Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Vaughn Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Banks, is a chaotic precursor to Vampire Nation, which was a 1995 show supporting Typo Negative's Bloody Kisses tour. It raised July's profile, and soon they were known as one of the most intriguing bands in North America. And I'll tell you, the fact that we're doing this interview with the guest in federal prison is even more intriguing to me. This is amazing. Um, so do you get a chance being in there to write music or talk with other musicians? Have you met any other musicians? Tell us about this oh, yeah, experience. Yeah, there's some musicians in here. There's a guy uh, who actually auditioned for KISS uh, as a drummer. Uh, they were getting together. He's from New York, and uh, he said he would have got the gig if he wasn't strung out. So he said he did better than Peter Chris. <laughs> so he's in here, and I met, I met a guy. His name is, uh, he goes by Lefty Lizard. Uh, and then there's another guy I met, and I can't recall his name, but I met him years ago. He was a... Uh, DJ, and he uh, wrote a lot of the Tupac uh, tracks and a lot of tracks for Sebo. They're West Coast rappers. And uh, I was playing, uh, we had put the, like, together this little band. I was playing guitar. So I play guitar as well, and uh, that was pretty fun. But, yeah, there's some musicians in here. And uh, most recently I met a guy named uh, Corey Smith. He used to play for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's on the compound right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, just amazing. It is a love apocalypse. Uh, we have got the, the, the great Freddie Hamilton with us, a.k.a. Frederick Van Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Banks. And he joins us today here on a broadcast. Swim Alone is from the album Love Apocalypse by John. Let's call it from a federal prison. Yeah, we got that. I loved that part of it. Yeah, um, <laughs> so, so tell us about where... Um, your writing process for this, this love apocalypse came from, my friend. It's crazy because what happened was my father had, uh, had cancer and he ended up dying. And at the same time, I was dating this girl and uh, we were going through a bad relationship and we ended up getting into a physical confrontation. I, mean, I didn't put my hands on her and anything, but she kind of like kicked me. And there was just a lot of chaos going on. So when we didn't name the band, I said, let's just call it July because... It's basically the exact opposite of what you think of when you think of July. You think of swimming on a beach somewhere, and July is just dark, darkness and, and chaos. And then we were dealing with it with the obituary, uh, the Russian last czar, his downfall, that's the cover, Nicholas II. And we continue with Anastasia, which is on Love Apocalypse, which sort of ties into that. So it has some historical aspects to it, too. But July was born out of uh, chaos, and that's why it's called Love Apocalypse. That's tremendous. That is tremendous. It is. Love Apocalypse. We have got Freddie Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Van Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Banks with us. He joins us live here on a broadcast. So tell me a little bit about the music video for this song. Uh, it's available on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, the music video literally is me in my kitchen with a computer <laughs> singing because we want to do something different. Um, so, you know, it's Swim Alone, which is not really one of the tracks you would think that we would release, but we decided to uh, just release the video, put it up, and see what happens. It uh, started off slow. Um, I think we had, like, only uh, 18 views for the song, the song Swim Alone, not the video, um, and then, which is on YouTube. Then it jumped to 1,500, and then somebody else put it up, and it jumped to 900, and then... Uh, the video with me in it, uh, I'm not sure what it has, but, uh, yeah, that's basically what happened. So, you know, just me with a computer in there singing, and the song's kicking, and it's remixed a little bit, and you know, everything was done in real time, and just recorded it and put, put it up. Let's call it from a federal prison. And we have got uh, Frederick Von Hamilton, a.k.a. Frederick Banks, with us. Freddie Hamilton joins us here, talking about Love Apocalypse. Now, I know that your time is short, my friend, in this call, uh, so I'm going to let you go. Before we do that, how do we get in touch with you guys on social media, buy your music, everything else? Yes, definitely. Uh, it's available all over the world, Amazon, Apple, Spotify, 
Um, you can contact me if you like directly. My email is sbanksdhlr at emailinterface.org. And, uh, uh, you know, you can look at it on YouTube. And basically, literally, it's available everywhere. We use CD Baby and DistroKid. So pretty much anywhere. It's on Deezer in France and all over the world. So you, Amazing. you should be able to find it. Amazing. Google it, it comes straight up. I mean, so uh, you can definitely get it. And the cover is dealing with a uh, uh, execution. It's a, it's a famous Renaissance painting. I yes, yes, name, we've got but, it up on the but, on the uh, screen yeah. for the for the for the social media viewers. I, I th this th this is quite the deal, my friend. Yes, <laughs> and it was done by Chip Morris, put it together out of Pittsburgh. And uh, if you can get the physical CD, which is actually available as well. And that has all the lyrics in it. I wrote the lyrics, and it has a photo of the band. And then on my uh, on my Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com backslash frederick dot dot banks dot ninety four, you can uh, you can look at uh, some more pictures of the band and stuff on that as well. And then you have Heck it's on Hexagon Mutiny and Oceanic. The label site is facebook.com backslash um, hex and the city so that's the facebook for hexagon records fantastic well i appreciate it my friend i will talk to you soon have yourself a wonderful wonderful day thank you man all right thanks jimmy i appreciate your time appreciate and, and have a good day and keep rocking man you're doing a great job over there <laughs> thank you man i really appreciate it i'll talk to you soon thank you brother all right see you later thank Bye -bye. you man there he goes that was a call from a federal prison <laughs> i love it we are going to take a timeout. When we come back, we're going to go back to LeBuck on